how does it feel like to be reeling in um, having done such a massively successful film well um <laughs> for myself i can say that it's a dream come true you know every actor comes with a dream ki bhai we'll make a film that will touch everybody's hearts uh, not only in india but also worldwide so um, I, i've been very fortunate to be a part of such a film and i'm sure we all are whoever uh, has been a part of this especially after the pandemic the odds are against you and uh, like it is something like you know they say that there is no magic out there but sometimes life makes you realize that there is how about you simrat uh, i think i'm the luckiest girl and the luckiest actor to have a debut with gadar 2 uh, it's a dream for everyone to have a 500 cr movie and i got it in my debut so yeah i think it's it's beyond my dreams something i never dreamt of so i yeah i'm grateful and thankful and blessed and this all feels still surreal to me yeah <laughs> when you guys were getting on board for film uh, so gadar 2 is obviously coming from a very successful franchise right gadar 1 was equally successful so was this uh, ever a factor like while signing the film that okay this has to do good because one was amazing and now that we're coming back so it has a lot of nostalgia riding on the film you know uh, pe- people were already anticipating that the film will be nice because it had the same star cast it was a follow up of whatever what, whatever we've seen in the other one so did that reason ever factor in while signing the film yeah absolutely uh, in fact uh, because i was part of the writing process and all i've seen the script being developed in front of me so i know how much how much of a hard decision it was for us to agree to make a sequel and to you know it, it took us 20 22 years to come up with a storyline that that could match up to the expectations of the first and to the achievements of the first so it was really make or break at some level and uh, we wanted to do a film that will grow the brand of gadar one and not just and cash it so that was our main aim and uh, we feel we've succeeded in that we'd also like to know some bts uh, that happened on the set a lot of interesting stuff i think simrat uh, has a better answer she's smiling no for, for me i think the song which we see chalte re ishq mein it looks so beautiful and all but uh, we were shooting in like 50 degrees <laughs> with all that jewelry and you know shawls sweaters Yeah, uh, it looked really pretty on screen, but yeah, we had to go through some difficult times. So yeah, that was something I'll remember for my life. I think every song in this film has a unique story because um, all the songs where we're wearing sweaters and all these heavy clothes, we've shot in Lucknow at fifty degree temperatures. And one more in, thing, like the we're most, we had most of the graves, right? Yeah, yeah, we shot at so many graveyards that I'm sure two oh three spirits God. are following us everywhere. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. At one point, I had to lie on top of seven eight uh, graves of some. I, I don't even know who they were. Oh my goodness! Uh, but they were like that. That was a literal haunted place. People go there and make vlogs. He, you cannot stay here for an entire night. We shot there. There were snakes everywhere. So we shot in a lot of dangerous conditions. But yeah. uh, one interesting story I'll tell you. Is uh, you've seen the song "Main Nikla Gaddi Leke," you know uh, the the new one, the new version. So in that, uh, all my steps are done done on one leg. There's a reason for that because I broke my leg the day before shooting, oh, and uh, I was on a wheelchair the next day. And they said that uh, you have to go back to Bombay. You cannot shoot. We had about 200 dancers there, and we had rehearsed it for over 10-15 days. uh so the per day cost was so expensive that we could not afford to reshoot it and uh, so it was really i, I don't know kahan se ye when did i get that energy or that mental fortitude like if you were to ask me right now i would have rejected it but i said you know i'll do it i'll do it i, I will uh, try to give my best